In the annals of Hollywood history, Brian Donlevy emerges as a stalwart figure, a testament to enduring qualities that have solidified his status as a timeless symbol of the industry. What sets him apart from his contemporaries in that era, one might ponder. A closer look reveals a distinctive blend of rugged charisma and versatile talent that carved a niche for Donlevy in the cinematic landscape. In exploring the essence of Brian Donlevy's cinematic legacy, one cannot overlook his ability to seamlessly navigate diverse roles, whether portraying hardened tough guys or complex characters with an enigmatic depth. His on-screen presence exuded a commanding authenticity, earning him recognition beyond the fleeting trends of his time. What enduring qualities do you think make Brian Donlevy an everlasting symbol of the industry? It's a question that beckons reflection on the actor's resilience and adaptability, a dynamic combination that has allowed his influence to transcend the boundaries of changing cinematic landscapes. As we delve into random facts about Brian Donlevy, consider this. Did you know that he began his career on Broadway before transitioning to the silver screen? or that his journey in Hollywood spanned several decades, leaving an indelible mark on genres ranging from film noir to war dramas. Now, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor. Your stories and memories breathe life into the pages of cinematic history. We would love to hear your insights in the comments below. So, let's embark on a journey through the cinematic tapestry woven by Brian Donlevy, appreciating the nuances that made him an enduring figure in the ever-evolving landscape of Hollywood. On August 13, 2019, Brian Donlevy was honored for his film work during the Turner Classic Movies Summer Under the Stars. This recognition highlighted his significant contributions to the film industry. Don Levy's versatile talent and memorable performances have left a lasting impact on cinema. One notable instance is found in the movie Birth of the Blues, where his cornet playing was dubbed by Pokey Carrier, showcasing his commitment to delivering authentic and engaging portrayals on screen. Interestingly, Don Levy also became the stepfather of Bella Lugosi Jr., creating a familial connection with another notable figure in the entertainment world. These aspects shed light on different facets of Brian Donlevy's career, from his accolades to the collaborative nature of filmmaking and his personal connections within the industry. Becoming a member of the Screen Actors Guild in late 1935 marked a pivotal moment in Brian Donlevy's career, solidifying his presence in the film industry. His commitment to the craft and fellow actors is evident in this early affiliation. Don Levy's dedication to the art of acting extended beyond the screen, showcasing a passion for the profession. This affiliation with the Screen Actors Guild laid the groundwork for his future contributions and collaborations in the dynamic world of cinema. As his career progressed, Brian Don Levy found himself in a unique position, not only as a talented actor but also as the celebrity spokesman for Blattspear. This endorsement highlighted his popularity and the trust audiences placed in his on-screen persona. Don Levy's role as a spokesperson added another dimension to his multifaceted career, intertwining the worlds of entertainment and commercial endorsement. Beyond the glitz of Hollywood, Don Levy played a significant role in the personal milestones of his colleagues. In 1941, he stood as William Holden's best man at Holden's wedding to Brenda Marshall. This intimate involvement in a fellow actor's life speaks to the camaraderie and connections that existed within the film industry. Don Levy's role as best man not only solidified his friendship with Holden, but also showcased the sense of community among the stars of that era. These facets of Brian Don Levy's career, from his early affiliation with the Screen Actors Guild to his role as a beer spokesperson, and his personal connections within Hollywood paint a comprehensive picture of a man who not only excelled in his craft, but also played integral roles both on and off the screen. Brian Don Levy, renowned for his versatile contributions to the film industry, held a unique distinction in his career. Notably, he is the sole actor to portray Professor Bernard Quatermass more than once on screen. This notable feat occurred in the Hammer science fiction films The Quatermass Experiment and its sequel, Quatermass 2. Despite this achievement, it's worth mentioning that the creator of Quatermass, Nigel Neal, reportedly considered Don Levy his least favorite actor in the role. In addition to his groundbreaking portrayal of Professor Quatermass, Don Levy's filmography is punctuated by impactful roles. 
For instance, in the movie In Old Chicago, his character Gil Warren meets his demise as a result of the devastating Chicago fire. Similarly, in The Great Man's Lady, Don Levy's character, Steely Edwards, faces a tragic fate during the San Francisco fire. These distinctive aspects of Don Levy's career not only showcase his diverse acting capabilities, but also underscore his willingness to take on challenging roles in the dynamic landscape of cinema. Stay tuned for more insights into the remarkable career of this influential actor. In a 1944 movie magazine, it was revealed that Brian Donlevy wasn't a fan of smoking or playing cards, except when it was for the movies. This unique detail adds a layer to Don Levy's on-screen persona, showcasing his commitment to authenticity in his roles. During the filming of I Wanted Wings in 1941 alongside Ray Milland, Don Levy found himself on an actual military base, playing the role of Captain Mercer. Uncomfortable with soldiers mistaking him for a real captain and saluting, he wore a sign around his neck that simply stated, Actor. This amusing anecdote highlights the challenges actors sometimes face when blurring the lines between fiction and reality. While often credited with being part of the Lafayette Escadrille, Don Levy was not officially a member. However, he did receive flight training in France during WWI and became an honorary member of the Lafayette Flying Corps. This distinction sheds light on his lesser-known involvement in the world of aviation, adding a unique dimension to his diverse experiences. Beyond the glitz of Hollywood and his notable film roles, these lesser-known aspects of Brian Donlevy's life, from his selective approach to smoking to his clever solution for military salutes and his honorary status in the aviation world, reveal a multifaceted personality behind the iconic actor. Stay tuned for more insights into the remarkable career of this influential figure. Wounded twice as a fighter pilot in World War I, Brian Donlevy's life extended beyond the glamour of Hollywood. His first-hand experience in the skies during the war shaped him in unexpected ways. Later, Donlevy took on the role of government spy Steve Mitchell on NBC Radio's Dangerous Assignment, showcasing his versatility not just on screen but also through the airwaves. The actor's ability to embody different roles transcended the visual medium. Beyond the battlefield and the airwaves, Don Levy tackled historical figures with conviction. Playing William Quantrill, the leader of a Confederate guerrilla band during the U.S. Civil War, in two distinct films, Kansas Raiders, and Woman They Almost Lynched underscored his commitment to portraying characters with depth and historical significance. These lesser-known aspects of Don Levy's life expand our understanding of the man behind the iconic actor, showcasing his diverse experiences and dedication to authenticity in various mediums. Stay tuned for more insights into the remarkable career of this influential figure. As we bid adieu to this cinematic journey through the life and works of the illustrious actor Brian Donlevy, let us pause and reflect on the personal tapestry each of us has woven with his performances. Donlevy, a master of his craft, has left an indelible mark on the realms of entertainment. And now, we invite you to unravel the threads of your connection with this iconic figure. Perhaps it was his commanding presence in classic films or the nuanced characters he breathed life into that resonated with you. Take a moment to delve into the recesses of your memory and unearth those instances when Don Levy's portrayal stirred something within Yao but admiration, nostalgia, or a profound sense of connection. Your thoughts are a mosaic, a unique collage of experiences that enrich the collective tapestry of admiration for Brian Don Levy. We encourage you to share your favorite memories, the scenes that linger in your mind, or the performances that left an everlasting imprint on your cinematic soul. Let your words echo in the halls of shared appreciation, celebrating the legacy of a remarkable artist. In honoring actor Brian Don Levy, we acknowledge the profound impact he has had on the world of entertainment. His contributions, like a timeless melody, continue to resonate through the ages, inspiring and enchanting generations. As we wrap up this cinematic exploration, we extend our heartfelt gratitude to you, dear reader, viewer, for accompanying us on this reflective journey. Your time and interest are cherished, as is your unique connection with Brian Donlevy. In the spirit of shared appreciation, we invite you to contribute your reflections, weaving them into the rich tapestry of admiration for this cinematic luminary. Thank you for being a part of this celebration of art, talent, and the enduring magic of storytelling. 